So EcoGrowth is a relatively new company that was spun out of executive ad service and it was designed to take our gasification technology and biomass feedstock uh, generator into a whole new direction. So gasification is a process where we, we smolder wood-like materials and we burn the smoldering gases that come off. It's a very clean way to, uh, to combust a woody-like material. Food waste in landfill is one of the most potent sources of greenhouse gas emission. So it's easy to start there and mandate a diversion from landfill. And so that's where we came in. We took it one step forward and say, okay, if you're not gonna landfill it, what are you gonna do? So we, uh, we went straight to the uh, biomass energy. So biomass fuel is another form of thermal energy. Whatever you're using to heat water, we actually replace that with biomass. So the food dehydration is simply a wet food in. Whatever goes in is 100%. Typically 20% comes out as a usable wood-like biomass. The rest of it was water, which has been dehydrated away. This is like a fire log. <laughs> and this is almost, you know, this is a, pretty close to a pound. And for each pound that we divert from landfill, we get about eight and a half times that as a, as a carbon offset. So if we're consuming a ton of material in these boilers, we offset eight and a half tons of CO2 equivalent because it wouldn't, it didn't go to landfill, turned to methane, and it didn't use the carbon profile from a fossil fuel. It used a carbon neutral fuel source. People are gonna have to realize that they can keep paying the carbon tax and the fossil fuel or they can look alternatively, probably to a waste source that's sitting right in their dumpster currently. We're always looking to reduce our costs and reduce our carbon footprint. And once we figured it out for ourselves, then we open it up to our clients or prospective clients. So as we built our gasification plant, we, uh, and we refer to this as feed the beast. So what other things can we introduce to the gasification plant to obviously create hot water for the plant? Then we looked at, well, what things can we do to, uh, with our customers while we're there doing our other services? So we looked at providing paper towel, paper cups, materials that are compatible with our boiler system. And so what we uh, rationalized is if we could take a waste stream out of our customer's dumpster, we could reduce the frequency of their tippage, save them money, and then obviously bring it back to the plant and save ourselves money. So the ConocoPhillips project really started from their desire to reduce uh, the amount of waste leaving their facility. So it was a waste reduction and a waste diversion uh, project. So they've uh, installed three of our 1,000 pound per day dehydrators. And so by dehydrating their food waste on site, they were able to, they were able to reduce the frequency of trucking uh, literally by 80% uh, percent or more. The first stage was to dehydrate the uh, organic food waste under their kitchen. It's a 700 man camp. Phase two was to dehydrate the biosolids from their waste treatment plant and set up a system that was totally integrated with their wastewater system. And then phase three is actually to introduce our combustion and uh, our gasification technology along with a solids shredder so that we can actually convert the vast majority of their waste into a, a thermal resource that they'll use to heat the water for the camp. So the dehydrated materials, we'll load this up with a thousand pounds of food waste or whatever wet biomass there is, and we dry it out completely um, and basically sterilize it using heat. Um, the energy that is created or is electrical heat on these versions. In the future versions that we make, we're gonna actually be scrubbing the heat off of the boiler itself. So we'll get way more efficient with the, the larger systems we put into towns or communities, smaller communities. 
So why is ConocoPhillips such a great partner? Um, well, when we first uh, went down this road, we had not perfected the technology. And so they were willing to work with us and help us to perfect the technology, how it applies to them. They know that this is a global problem and by solving their only problem in a 700 man camp, they know has worldwide implications and application. I think EcoGrowth is becoming that company that is excited to explore new opportunities with the waste and just think outside the box on how to utilize them the best. It's trash to cash. It literally is trash to cash. We want people to realize that what's going into their dumpster, whatever waste it may be, 80 to 90% of what goes in any dumpster is a refuse-derived biomass fuel source. And we just want to get people to realize that. We know as we get our technology to the point where it is today, uh, the market is huge. And it's going to benefit everybody because we're collectively going to reduce the world's global footprint.